treatment for a disease put a retired Army sergeant into a wheelchair, a place she thought she'd be for the rest of her life. All new at 6 o'clock, 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence found out how a chance meeting led to a device that's been changing her life. Two years ago, retired Army Sergeant Teresa Hannigan lost complete use of her legs. A year later, she was at a VA hospital in New York where they asked her if she was interested in an experimental program. You're going to give me the opportunity to stand and possibly walk? Show me. They did, and now with a push of a button. And as a late night TV commercial might say, wait, there's more. That's not the best, wait. I'm going to push a button, I'm going to show you. Hannigan did something she never thought possible again, walk. So-called exoskeletal devices have been around for years. What sets this device by ReWalk apart is the technology. It allows them to really go for a walk instead of go for a ride. They feel like they're in control. The device was invented about 10 years ago by an Israeli who got hurt in an accident. But the technology has evolved to the point where it's like a Segway with legs. An onboard computer and micro sensors adjust to her movements. And like a Segway, it's her motion that dictates where she goes. Her godson, Joe Galindez, who helps her in and out of her chair and has seen her do this a number of times, still gets emotional every time he sees her do it. She was at a point where she didn't want to live no more. And see that she wants to go on with life again is, is a gift. For now, Hannigan can only use the device as part of her therapy at the VA, but hopes approval for a home device isn't far away. That's all I'm asking. It's just give me the opportunity to be normal. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. She has so much to live for. And the device already approved for home use in Europe costs anywhere from $60 to $70,000. FDA approval in the U.S. is pending.